much? I don't know what's going on. I don't like to know what's going on, so I just say uh, show up and, and show right. me we, something. We never meet before the show. No. Um, so we're going to do something new. I've come up with this just okay. for you today. First Is this time. involving this yet or no? No, we'll get to that All right. in a second. All right. Well, okay. we'll get to this first. Okay. Um, I asked people on the way in what their favorite celebrities were. I've asked loads of different people. So here's a bunch of celebrities that they came up with. Right. We've got Oprah, Bono, John Travolta, Britney Spears, Morgan Freeman, Letterman, Mon Marilyn Monroe, Snatching. You get the idea. They're yes, all different. Yes. Okay, I'll mix these up, okay? I have not seen go. my name in there, but okay. Right. It may be, it may be in there. Okay, I'll give you a quick mix up, and I'm going to drop these down, but I am going to look away. Make sure you turn the monitors away so I can't see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop these down, and wherever you want, say stop, okay? I'll look away. Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, memorize that celebrity, uh -huh. whoever he or she is. Okay, I'll show mm -hmm. the cameras at home as mm -hmm. well. Okay, visualize that person. I'm going to pick up on your nonverbal body language now and try and figure out who that person is, okay? okay? Don't give any clues away. It's like a little poker game, okay? But I want you to actually see the person on this card here, okay? Visualize them, see their face on it. I'm going to ask you questions about, about this person, but don't say anything, mm -hmm. okay? But answer honestly in your mind, and in your mind only. Okay, don't say anything at all. Mm -hmm. Is this person male or female? Male or female? I've got a scissors here. I'm going to cut into this. Male or female? Interesting, your eyes dilated when I said male. I think it's probably a male. Thanks for that. Okay, was, you, uh, <laughs> was this person um, a singer? Were they an actor, an actress, a uh, talk show host like yourself? Either a singer or an actor, I'm not too sure which, thanks for that. Uh, was this person uh, alive or dead? Because some of them are dead, alive or dead, alive or dead, alive or dead. I think this person is alive, alive. Oh no, you didn't react there, so it's definitely dead, thanks for that. Okay, and um, concentrate on the color, I and mean, you're smiling, so I'm right. Uh, concentrate on the color of their hair, the color of their hair. Um, interesting, you did not look up at my hair, so I'm thinking it's probably black hair, probably black hair. Uh, I know you're looking up to try and throw me. Uh, for the first time, I want you to name out loud the person that you're merely thinking of. Who's the person? Name them out loud. All right, Elvis. Elvis, not like Oprah. No. Okay, I'm not too sure how I did, but let's take a look. Elvis, very slowly, no mess around. Prepare. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you. That's inc that's incredible. Okay. I, I don't want to touch this box. I want you to take the box. Okay. Now, I, I want to tell people that this was sent a, a, about two since days Monday. ago. You have it since Monday. And it's yesterday. locked, and it's been here for two days locked. Yeah, and I wanted to get it directly to your hands, but you're happy that I haven't touched it at all. That yes. is important. I've yes. nowhere near this no. box. I'll tell you, there's two objects inside the box, okay? There's a mm -hmm. miniature deck of cards, mm -hmm. there's also my granddad's pill box, okay? Now, do you understand the difference between telepathy and clairvoyance? No. Okay, telepathy is the ability to read somebody's mind. Clairvoyance is the ability to see into the future. I want you to imagine that you're telepathic. You can read my mind right now and mm -hmm. see what's going on inside there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking of a, a playing card, because inside there, there's one playing card reversed in a deck of cards. I want you to see inside my brain. Freak your freak and figure out what it is. Okay. Name a card now, out loud. Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades. Interesting choice, okay? Now, does that just kind of enter your head randomly? Yes. Okay, we'll open the box very, very slowly. Okay, I won't, I'll put it here on my knee. Jack of Spades. Do you want to change your mind, by the way, as I do this? Okay. Do you want to change your mind before you open the box? No. You don't? You worried me there for a second. I thought you were going to change your mind. Okay, um, have a look inside the box. As I said, there's a deck of cards. Uh -huh. Okay, and let's just put them back in there for oh. a second. No, because I want to make sure that you don't tamper with them in any way. Deck of cards and a pill box, yeah? Right, right. And you're happy I've been nowhere near this box at all, yeah? Right, right. Okay, Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure? Yes. Okay, I'll do this very slowly. You know, I'm going to around. I want you to hold on to the pill box for me as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get to the cards now. Jack of Spades, I'll go through these very, very slowly. As I said, there's only one card reversed in the deck of cards, okay? Make sure I don't cheat out. Okay, because I will cheat if I get the chance. Okay, as I said, there's only one card reversed. I put it there a couple of days ago. Okay, I'm going really, really slowly to make sure it's in the exact center right there. It's the only one. Uh -huh. Go ahead and take it. I want, you, I want you to open up the till box. I don't want to touch it at all. Okay. This is today's LA Times we've got here. Uh -huh. Okay, I want you to open, open that up and read out loud what it says. There's a note inside there. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. right, grab it. Just yank it out of there. Okay, it's been in there. I, I wrote this note on Monday or on Sunday. Just uh -huh. now. I want you to read out loud what it says. This is today's LA Times. Okay, read it from the top. Hold on. Glasses. Mommy, get her glasses. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Ellen. It's 11.46 a.m. on Sunday, October 19th. I predict the headlines in the L.A. Times on Wednesday, October 22nd, will be 64 Mongols, uh, Mongols arrested in, visualized, in visualizing a man in handcuffs wearing shorts. Okay, we've got a man in handcuffs wearing shorts, and there's actually, it's right here, I'll look, there's actually 61 members, so I was off by three, so I apologize for that, I said 64. Uh, but I got the man in the shorts and handcuffs. Uh, continue. Uh, investors no longer uh, reliant on stocks. Okay, investors, uh, here, they, they rethink their reliance on stocks. Insurers see banking future. Okay, there it is there. Insurers, they see the banking future. And you're happy, there's no way I could have been near this. Uh, yes, senators really scared. Uh, senators really, oh, there it is. Senators running scared. There it is right there. Wow. That's amazing. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, you can catch Keith's show at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, October 28th through November 27th, where every audience member will have a chance to win $10,000. That's right. amazing. Every night. That means, like, that's not enough to go see you. You're amazing. You're incredible. Thanks very much. All right, back. Katie Langawa.